My dad, very different from my husband's dad. My husband's dad, uh, Andy was raised in California, but his, all of his family is from Mississippi. And his dad is a very slow talker, slow talker. Even for Mississippi, Andy's dad was a slow talker. His, his nickname in high school was Speedy. <laughs> It took Clyde four Mississippi to say one Mississippi. <laughs> but he was a slow-talking guy. And when Andy was about nine years old, it's going to sound mean, but it did an amazing thing. When Andy was nine years old, his dad said to him, son, and he always called him that. He said, son, before you say anything, I want you to take a look around the room and think to yourself, does anyone give a shit? <laughs> And what that did is that created an, an adult man who thinks before he speaks. It's quite a delight. I was not raised by that man. I was raised by a guy who was like, just keep talking, eventually they'll buy windows. I do love being married, though. It's been very exciting. I've learned things every day on how to be a decent person. And uh, it's been very exciting. Here's one thing I learned in, in quarantine is, uh, I did not know this, when you're in a long-term relationship, you get to have the sex, right? You get to do the, you get to do the thing. And uh, it's all very exciting. But uh, sometimes you want to do the sex, but everybody's tired. <laughs> Weird. Yeah, everybody's exhausted, but you still want to do it. And because uh, whenever one person's tired, the other person can pick up the slack. But if you're both tired, it's very different. Like whenever we make the sweet, sweet love, and we do, I want him to have the best time. And whenever we make the sweet, sweet love, he wants me to have the best time because we like each other a great deal. But whenever we make the sweet, sweet love and we're both exhausted, neither one of us has the best time. We have an okay time. Things happen. Tab A, slot A. I'm a bottom. Now, but I call that when that, that sleepy time, exhausted sex, I call that the sex of the magi. Because everybody's rooting around looking for pocket watches and combs, and nobody's really getting what they want, but they're kind of getting, they know their heart's in the right place. That's Christmas, Joe. 